Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Kristen. And today I'm doing, finally, my updated what's in my kit video. As you can tell, I'm chilling on a new piece in my kit. I'm really excited to do this for you guys. I've been wanting to do this for so long, but I was like continuously adding new things to my kit and I didn't want to really show you everything until I feel like I had everything, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of show you guys an overview right now and then I'm gonna kind of like put everything on this table behind me and set the camera up closer so you guys can really see what's in my kit. Um, also, I have a giveaway that I'm doing at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm super excited because it's my first giveaway. But if you guys are new, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and like this video. And yeah, I'm super excited, so let's get started. Okay, so first, I am sitting in this chair, as you can tell. And it's the chair that I bring with me um, pretty much all the time when I go do clients. Sometimes if I'm going somewhere and it's not, I'm not doing a lot of people, I won't always bring it, but it really, really like saves your back when you have a long day, especially like at a hotel or something and all your clients are in a really short chair. Um, it just really helps to have them like even with you. As you can tell, it's like pretty much like the perfect height for me to do it. So it's super simple to fold up. All you do is like hook up this little thing. I don't know what it is, like this far. And then it literally just like pops together like this. As you can tell, there's like little pockets right here. And then there's also this little table which folds down and up. So they can put their drinks on it or whatever they want. You can use it for more table space if you need it. And it's aluminum, so it's really lightweight, but it's also really sturdy when you're sitting on it. So I really love this. Hold it like this. I'm um, ready to go. So yeah, this is the chair that I have. And I'll have everything, all my like bags and equipment and all of that stuff link down below. Um, so this is the one thing that I carry with me. I also always have my ring light, which I'm using right now, so you guys can't see. Um, it's from Amazon as well. Pretty much everything I get is from Amazon. Whoever watched my last What's My Kit video, you guys know I like sitting on the floor for these for whatever reason. I just really don't know how else to film it, so that's what we're doing. So I don't know if you guys can really tell, but underneath this bag under here is the same bag that I had in my last video. I've had this for a while and it's so sturdy and durable and I love it. And I should probably tell you what it is. It's the Zuka bag. Um, I always forget which one it is, but I'll have it linked like the exact one like down below. It's not the Mac one and hmm, I forget. I know there's a couple different ones, but I really, really like this. It came with, I think, like five of the like um, zipper pouches in there, but it really does hold a lot of makeup. I love that I can put other stuff, like other bags. Oops. On top of it, like I can this one. I love that it's a rolly. I just like love rolling it around. I feel like it's so much easier. So this like top right here also doubles as a seat, which is really helpful if like you're ever on set or you're ever somewhere and you're just like in a pinch and need a chair. Um, you can have your client sit on it. Or sometimes if I'm somewhere and I don't have my like big chair and they only have short chairs, I'll sit on this. So that way I'm like level with my client, and that helps your back a lot too. So. I love this. That's the handle right here, so it's really easy to carry. Um, and just putting this down. There's a ton of compartments in here, and I just love it. So, in the zipper, so I have quite a few bags in here. Um, I have my brush belt, which I did a whole video on, and I added the Jaclyn Hill brush collection to this. So if you're wondering what brushes and what tools I keep in here, um, that's the Jaclyn Hill brush collection. And then my other brushes and tools you can check out from my last What's in My Brush Belt video, which I'll put on the screen right now. So I'm going to go through all these after in a sec. I just want to show you like where I keep everything. Um, so right here I have my lip bag, my eyelash bag, and then I have my like skin prep slash sanitation bag, um, my eye makeup, and then my like face palette and like other random palettes. Then I have this bag, which is also from Amazon. I love this bag. It has this strap so you can carry it on your shoulder. You can also like make it like loop through where you can carry it as a backpack, which I also think is really, really cool. I also forgot to say that I keep my mirror that I had from last time, the NYX mirror. I keep that um, folded up in my like little chair. 
on the side pocket. I will also keep in here um, if I have like my little zipper bag with any touch-up kits. So I went over touch-up kits in a few of my videos, um, so just like check out my makeup artist playlist and I've probably talked about them a few times over there, but I keep my touch-up kits in this bag as well because I still have some like extra room. Oh, also a towel. I always keep black towels. Um, I probably have like at least like two or three with me um, just so I can have one to like set everything up on and then I keep one for cleaning brushes in between clients. Okay, hopefully this angle is okay, but I'm going to start off by going through everything in my Zuka bag. So this is the first bag that I was telling you guys about with my like skin and sanitation. So I have like all of my sprays, my um, setting sprays, my primers, my um, moisturizers, all that kind of stuff in here. So first, this is my, it's a little bit dirty. Um, this is my Bioderma Micellar Water. I love this stuff. It is amazing for just everything, for cleaning up under the eyes, fixing any mistakes, cleaning off the face. This is just the best stuff ever. I got this from Amazon and I love how it has this little like pump so I could just like put a cotton pad and press it and it comes out the top. So love that. I have two little spray bottles labeled water and alcohol. These two primers from Makeup Forever, they're both the step one primers. This one is for smoothing and this one is for mattifying. Then I have the MAC Strobe Cream in the color Pink Light. Hand sanitizer, because you always, always, always have to sanitize your hands before each client and I like to do it in front of them just so they know that everything's nice and clean. Then I have this Josie Marin Argon, Argon Oil and this is in case someone has really dry skin if I want to like prep their skin with this or if I want to mix it into a foundation to make it really lightweight. Um, yeah, I just have this just in case, but I do love this stuff. Then I have my three setting sprays. Um, this one is my absolute favorite. It's from Scandinavia and it's the Bridal Makeup Setting Spray. It is so good. Um, yeah, it's oil free, paraben free, and it's a fine mist. And if you guys didn't know, um, fun fact, the Urban Decay setting sprays are actually made by Scandinavia. It actually says it like somewhere on the side by Scandinavia. So yeah, I love this one for brides and for like anyone with like normal skin um, or a normal to combo. I use this one the most and then if somebody has like really really oily or dry skin I'll use these. So this is the Chill which is for dry skin and the D Slick which is for really oily skin. Then I have like all of my moisturizers. This, these two are from Embroilise. I never know really how to say that. Um, this is the, you guys can read it, right? <laughs> the Late Cream Concentrate. This is really good for like normal to dry skin or people with really dry skin. I use this as a mask and I actually forgot the mask that I use on my brides um, at home because I was doing it on myself, but I'll have that listed down below too. Um, and then I have the Embroilise Emulsion Hydra Matte, which is really, really good for oily skin. I love this because it hydrates, but it doesn't get you oily or greasy and it keeps people matte. So I really, really love this one. Then I have the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, fragrance free because the one that isn't fragrance free smells really, really bad. So if you get this, make sure you get the fragrance free, but this stuff is like such a good, like multi-purpose product to have in your kit. You can use this like for eyebrows, like to tame them um, as chapstick or a gloss. You can use it as like a highlight, like on someone's face for like more editorial looks. Um, you can use it as a moisturizer on like your cuticles. There's just so many different ways you can use this. So I do love this stuff. I think that every makeup artist should have it. And then last I have the MAC lip conditioner. I love this stuff. It comes out in a little squeezy tube and it's just really good um, to prep the lips with. So next I have my like face palette and like other random palettes um, in this bag. This is the palette that I use the most often. Um, it has all of, oops, it has most of my blushes and some powders, contours, all that stuff. But I love these blushes. I use blushes a lot. Um, they're all from MAC and yeah, I really, well, this one's from Stila, I think. Um, I like a makeup prepper powder over here. The um, Anastasia contour kit is over here. I just really love this palette and I always, always, always use this on my clients. Then I don't use these um, palettes too, too much, but I like to have them just in case. I have the Lorac Pro Contour Conceal Palette, Lorac Pro Contour Palette, 
Um, this one is cream concealers and contours. I have the ABH um, Nicole Guerrero highlight palette, some cream blushes. I have my bright eyeshadow palette under here. Um, a random like Inglot palette, but I really love this blush and bronzer in here. And then my Lorac Pro one and two palettes. So that's everything that I have in here. Again, I mostly just use this palette, but I do like to have all that other stuff just in case. Next, this is one of my favorite bags. This is my eye bag. It has all my eye palettes and like other random stuff. This is my neutral palette. If you guys haven't seen my custom eyeshadow palettes, I'll put that on the screen right now. Definitely go check that out. I say, I tell you guys every single eyeshadow that is in here and in my colorful one. So go check that out. Then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette, which I love. It's amazing and yeah, it's just the best. I have the ABH um, Modern Glam and Soft, or Modern Glam, Modern Renaissance and Soft Glam palettes. Then I have my four Jaclyn Hill Bolt Collection palettes and the Naked palette. I have on this side like all of my like jars. So I have my paint pots, my um, Anastasia Dip Brows, and then two gel liners from Maybelline in black and brown. And over here I have my Stila like glitter and glow, um, my pigments. These are my two favorites, Diamond Dust and Kitten. If you guys are gonna get any two colors, get these. They're beautiful. And I have the Makeup Forever Aqua Seal, which I really like. It's a really good thing to have in your kit. You can pretty much turn any powder into like a liquid or like a cream with this, and it's waterproof, and yeah, I love it. Um, then I just have some random like glitters, pigments, um, the Kylie Highlight, this. Stila Kitten eyeshadow is the best for brides. It's so, so pretty. I use this one all the time. Um, and then some of the old pigments from MAC. And yeah, that's everything that's in this bag. So this is my lip bag. I don't have my lip pencils in here because they are in my other case, but it just opens up like this. And I have my two lipstick palettes. Um, so my neutral one and then my bold one. Um, if you guys want me to go through and show you guys like how I put my lipstick in here and which lipsticks I have in here, just let me know and I could do a whole video on that. And I'm not even going to attempt to go through this. Too many stuff. These are all my lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. There's a lot. I'll tell you some of my favorites. I really love the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks are some of my favorites. Um, Ophelia, which is this one, is one of my favorites and Lolita is really, really good. Um, I love this Buxom gloss. This color is just so pretty and it smells like cotton candy. And it like has that like little tingling effect so I feel like it makes your lips look a little bit plumper too. And it's in the shade White Rush and this is one of my favorite glosses ever. And then besides that gloss, I also really, really love the Makeup Forever. So yeah, I love these Makeup Forever ones. Um, this one is my favorite shade if I had to pick and it's 100P. Um, but yeah, I just love this. I love Makeup Forever. It's like such a good brand and I just love all their stuff. So love these lip glosses. I have a ton in here, but that is my lip bag. And lastly, this is my eyelash bag. Um, I'm actually waiting for like another shipment to come in. Um, so I'm like a little bit low right now. I just picked these up and I wanted to show you guys. These are my new favorite individual lashes. They're from Sonia Roselli, I think. And they look like this. Um, they come in short, medium, long, and they're called the Drop Lashes Individual Lash Clusters. So they come in short, medium, long, and they just kind of all, all together like this. It looks like little like spiders almost. Um, but I like it because when you go in with your tweezer and pick it up, like you're not pulling it off of the plastic tray that you get from, like, let me see if I have an individual one here. So these are the ones I always used to get from Ardell and sometimes they get stuck. So when you pull them with your tweezer from here, it will kind of like either like break the lash or it will separate or like it'll rip off or it just isn't good. So I love this and you do get quite a bit of lashes in each of them. Um, so yeah, I've been loving these and then I also really love getting the faux mink lashes from AliExpress. So those are my two favorite lashes. So this is my bag from Amazon. 
Um, I'm gonna show you guys what's in this front pouch first, since I don't have like too too much or anything too exciting. So under here, so oh, so in this little zipper pouch is where I keep like all my like disposable kind of stuff. So I have some backup mascara wands because I have some more inside. Then I have makeup wipes, my disposable sponges, Q-tips, and these little like cotton rounds. Then up here. There are three little pouches, so I just keep all of my airbrush stuff up here. So I have this little bag from Tim2 with um, their foundations, and then some like blushes, and bronzers, and I keep like all of my like airbrush makeup in here. Um, I also have the Tim2 primer, and then like a little like cleaner kit to clean the gun in there. Then I have the compressor and one of the like um, cords that are in there. And then here is my airbrush gun. All this, again, is from Tem Tem2. And I have like the cord and stuff and then the cleaner for the gun in there. And open it up. Da -da -da. I love this bag so much. Um, so this is everything that I have in here. I'll usually keep all this stuff in here when I'm like working and let me move this up a little bit. And I'll pretty much just like work straight out of here. Um, just because I feel like it's easier for me. Um, it keeps everything really organized. But yeah, up here I have my Witterproof Mascara, a Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, and another random brow gel. Um, I have a bag of mascara wands. And then down here I have my pencil sharpener and a couple clips to clip people's hair out of the way. And then over here is all my pencils. So down here I have my blacks and browns. I love the Makeup Forever Artist pencils. So I have a few of those. Um, MAC Costa Riche is one of my favorite browns. So I have that too. Then I have like my nude eye pencils, my white eye pencils, and like a couple other random colors um, in here. Then I have all my lip pencils. There's quite a few. Um, but yeah, a lot of neutral ones, some bold ones. I love the MAC lip pencils. They're some of my favorite ones. I love of Whirl Morning Coffee. Um, stone is really good and then I love this one is Makeup Forever 7C Aqua Lip Liner. It's one of my favorites. I use this on so many different people. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, those are all my pencils up here. If you guys want me to do a video with all my lip pencils and all my maybe like lip products that I carry with me, then just let me know because that will be a whole video in itself because there's probably a lot. So this bag is actually from MAC and this is where I keep all my liquid foundations. So in here I have, as you guys know, um, all my Makeup Forever foundations. I love Makeup Forever, so good. Um, yeah, so I have quite a few of those. I also keep my RCMA Translucent Powder, which I really like in here. Um, and then I've been loving the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. It's so, so good. I can't wait to get more shades um, and like carry a lot of this. But I start off with these two. Um, and then I just mix them for a lot of people, but I still have my darker shades of my Makeup Forever one too. So I really do love that foundation and I'm really excited to start carrying that in my kit. And then I have the J-Cat Beauty Lux Pro Pearl Luminizer and then Banana Powder just like for a little bit of a deeper skin tones. Then this bag is my concealer bag. It has all of my concealers and I love this bag too. These are all my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palettes that I depotted and put into this one palette just to kind of cut down on the stuff that I was carrying and I love this. It is so helpful and I just love having all these shades so that I can really like, um, you know, accommodate everyone. Then here, I don't know why this is in here. This. This is my NARS eye primer, but this is supposed to be up here. Um, but I just have my other concealers. I have a couple Makeup Forever camouflage concealer palettes. I have this one and this one with the regular colors. I have a Tem2 concealer reel, which I like um, to use to carve with the eyebrows too. Um, and then the other concealers that I carry, I've been really loving again, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So I have a few shades of that. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape, the Tarte Creases Concealer, the Makeup Forever HD Concealer and Full Cover Concealer, and the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So those are my concealers. I like concealer a lot, if you can't tell. Then over here, these are all of my 
powders and setting powders. Um, so I have the Makeup Forever HD powder, the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier Deep Translucent powder, which I really, really love, and it's translucent powder, but for deeper skin tones, which I think is a really good idea. Um, this has been my favorite lately. I really, really love this. It is the Cover FX Translucent Powder. It is so, so good. I am obsessed with this. Um, I have a couple like Makeup Forever powder foundations and then a few shades of the MAC Studio Fix powders. Uh, we are almost done, people. This is my like bronzer, blush, highlight bag, stuff that doesn't really go into a palette. Um, so over here I have my beloved Soleil Tan de Chanel. It's beautiful. I love using this. I wish they came out with a deeper one too though because this is like not dark enough for a lot of people. Like if I get tan in the summer, it won't be a bronzer on me. So I wish I'd come out with another shade because the consistency is so beautiful and like the color is so beautiful, like the tone of it. So we'll see. Um, then I have a couple NARS blushes and bronzer in Orgasm and Laguna, I think. Um, I have these Stila Heaven's Hue um, highlighters. I have this one and then the kitten one and they're kind of like a putty kind of like consistency. I have um, some Anastasia blushes, bronzers, and then the Omri Z highlight. Then I have these which I've been loving lately, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. Um, they're just so beautiful, so gorgeous on brides and I just love these so much. This one is Luminous Light and then I have um, for lighter skin tones, Urethial Light. And then another really good bronzer that I like is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Foundation Stick in Mink. And it's like a really, really good contour shade. I love this one. I have Cover FX Custom Drops. Um, a random like Makeup Forever Cream Blush that I really like. It's a beautiful shade. And then some just like small Becca highlighters. And that's it. So who's ready for the giveaway? Drop on please. So I actually ordered two of these for myself. Um, just because I wanted to try it out and then I wanted to one away and I actually don't keep it in my kit Which I'm sure you have noticed if you just watched the video. I do really really love these like I really wish I could keep it in my kit I just feel like for how much stuff that I have and carry with me now It like kind of takes up too much room. Um, if I had this last year, I would have loved it like in my last video I think it would have been perfect because It organizes everything so well um and who knows, I might like, I'm always changing up how I'm carrying my stuff, so I might add it again, but it is a 70 slot lipstick case. These are so pretty. Lipstick Nick carries all of her lipsticks and everything in here. That's like when I first like saw it and wanted to try it. Um, it's from the brand like Rounion, Rounion, I don't really know how to say it, but um, it looks like this has a super cute, like, gold zipper, and then it has these cards inside. Um, but yeah, you should put all your lipsticks, you should put all of your lipsticks in here, you can flip through them, and you put concealers in here, lip pencils, like, a couple of them. I did love when I had all my stuff in here, I feel like it did keep me really organized, but I just, like, didn't really have anywhere to put this big case you know so i don't know i really would like to add it back to my kit but we'll see but i want to do a giveaway that is catered toward some of my fellow makeup artists out there so if you guys want to try this um and you want to enter my giveaway i will have all of the directions linked in the description box down below so just check that out and then follow the rules and good luck and i'm so excited to talk to you guys and send this to one of you um yeah Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.